Hi, this is Joanna Cortitas from the Department of Online Learning here at Prairie State College. This is a short tutorial on taking a quiz or a test online. So let's say that I know that I need to take a quiz this week because it's on my syllabus and I know it's going to be online. So my professor may post it in the modules like we see here, or I may have to navigate to the quizzes section and locate the quiz for that particular week. I'm just gonna access it right here through the quiz in the module. When I get to this particular part of the module, I find out some more details about this quiz that are important. First, I can see that I have a time limit of five minutes here. That's important because I need to know how much time I need to be able to dedicate sitting at my computer in order to take this quiz. Second, I can see how many times I'm allowed to take this quiz. This is called an attempt. I can take this particular quiz two times. I can see that I've not taken it at all. There are also more instructions that your professor might include in this part of the quiz as well. Right here I can read, when the timer reaches zero, your answers will be automatically saved and submitted. So. I'm going to go ahead and click start quiz and we'll go through take this quiz together and kind of talk through the features within the quiz. So while I'm in the quiz, I can see that I have four minutes and 54 seconds remaining. If I go over the timer, I can click hide timer so that I don't have to see that while I take the quizzes. I can use my screen reader to read these questions out loud if I would like. The other feature to note is that I have access to the quiz information while I'm taking this quiz. So if I go over here and click on quiz information, I can access any additional information that my instructor might have included. If I have a longer quiz, you can see that there are pages included. For this particular example, we only have three questions. So if I click on the numbers, it'll just take me to those questions. But if I have a longer quiz, then I can move between different sections of my test by clicking on pages, just like you would if you had a paper test, turn your page of your exam. In order to select my answers, I just click the little circle in front of the one that I think is correct. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete this quiz, and then we will submit it together. At the very bottom of your quiz, you'll see a button that says Submit Quiz. The quiz tool is then gonna ask, are you sure you wanna turn it in? You still have time left. So you can click back to questions if you wanna double check anything, or you can go ahead and click Submit Quiz. When you click Submit Quiz, it's going to give you a confirmation that you have turned in your assignment, your quiz, and that has been submitted successfully. At that point, you can wait for the scores to be released, and then you can review that feedback later. This concludes our short tutorial on taking an online quiz. If you need more help, please reach out to the Department of Online Learning at onlinelearning at prairiestate.edu, or feel free to stop by my office, number 3216.